Here is a guy who's very happy, very happy with the way this turned out, I, I suspect. And that is Paul Ryan. Why? Because Paul Ryan was able to get this bill through the House, but he's getting the benefit of not actually happening, so he's not going to have to take responsibility for it. In fact, all he's doing now that he was able to get this through the House is put out videos about how nice he is. He's got a video out there talking to kids about how we have to raise the quality of the discourse. And then he's got another video out there for National Emoticon Day. I send emoticons to my kids all the time, and they're like, Dad, you're not an emoticon guy. And then I, I send them twice as many emoticons oh, to prove to him. Oh, yeah. And here he is bemoaning the fact that that chump Mitch McConnell couldn't take this hot potato and put it somewhere uh, that it was comfortable for everybody. But in fact, it's exactly where he wants it, a place where he won't have to deal with it again. This is best case scenario for Paul Ryan. Obamacare is in the middle of a tailspin. This law is collapsing. So we've got a promise to keep, and also we need to step in the, ahead of the problem that this law is collapsing. More and more people don't even have any choices left, or even one choice. 41% of the counties in America have no uh, competition in health insurance. They have one health insurer left. Premiums have doubled. Options are disappearing. Many counties in America now have no health insurers left. So that is just the stark reality of the moment. And Pause so we're hoping. You should know that um, something like 90% of those counties that have no options left are Republican counties because uh, a Republican governor sits there. And the one governor, I believe, who is um, who has uh, counties in his state that are not um, losing their health care, I think is in North Carolina, uh, which is a, a state that's uh, controlled by a Republican uh, legislature. And of course, he just got elected in six months ago. The stark reality of the moment. And so we're hopeful that the Senate uh, can take the pause that they need to take and, and, and move forward on this issue so we can get something done. But are you worried that repeal Well, I'm worried that this law, I'm worried that Obamacare will stand and the law will continue to collapse and people will get hurt in the process. Mm. So much passive voice in all of these con uh, all of these statements. Donald Trump, sorry to see that happen over there. Paul Ryan, sorry to see that happen over there. Mitch McConnell's the only one who's using the active voice in that uh, ro a Democrat somehow sabotaged this. But they'll come back. They'll do something else horrible. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL. And you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.